Well, he may only be 12 years old, but already he is heading off to college. Pretty wild. And as Fox 5's Joda Goldberg shows us, this Long Island prodigy has been proving for years that age is just a number. Saborno Isaac Berry memorized the periodic table when he was just two years old. By three, he was doing calculus. At seven, he was lecturing in India, and he graduated middle school at 10. That's one, that's two, that's three, okay. Now he's 12. That's the phenolphthalein indicator. And he's counting down the days until his high school graduation. The pH is now neutral. I try keeping myself to a high standard, even when you catch a strain of senioritis. Saborno Isaac, who is named after Isaac Newton is certainly living up to his name given he's five years younger than most of his classmates. He was ranked in the top 22 of his class at Malvern High and he got a 1500 on the SATs just a hundred points shy of perfection. It's a molarity by definition. I'm going to be attending NYU as part of the class of 2028 hopefully 2027 if I get everything finished quick enough. Saborna was also offered full rides to Fordham and Stone Brook, but he tells us NYU is one of the only universities that doesn't require freshmen to live on campus. His dad will double as his driver. I'm very proud of him. His older brother is also proud. When I need someone to play with, it's him. When I need someone to annoy, it's him. And when I need to ask someone a question, it's also him. So it's super easy to forget he's only 12 years old. Saborno transferred here to Malvern when he was in fourth grade and by fifth grade teachers made him an accelerated schedule. He would take high school classes in the morning and then fifth grade electives in the afternoon. He truly is a child prodigy. He just gets it. There isn't much Saborno doesn't get. I can feel the chemistry inside me. He does math in his free time. X squared over two. Most of the time, I really like the struggle that comes with learning. He's always thinking. He's always creating. He's always challenging himself. Himself. Challenging himself with historical hypotheticals. Imagining what would happen if, for example, World War I never happened, or uh, what would happen if, uh, say, Italy never joined World War II. As for the future, I want to bring my teaching to these lower level schools. Inspiring others with a love for learning that's helped him accomplish so much in such a short amount of time. In Malvern, Long Island, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.